Hello, my name is Joe Hoyle, and we're going to work today, Chapter 8, Multiple Choice Question Number 8. And this question looks at the FOB points. So one thing you might do before we get started is to go back to the accounting textbook, Financial Accounting, by me and C.J. Skinder, and read this question and see what answer you come up with. If you can get the answer, that's even better. So try it first by yourself and then see what answer you get and then come back and I'll show you exactly how I would work this question. Now, here's what we know. We know that we have a company and that company has counted its inventory and the company has discovered inventory of $130,000. That was the cost of this inventory. However, there is one amount of inventory that has come in. It's at the time they do the count. This inventory is somewhere in transit. It has not got to the company yet. And this inventory, as you can see right there, has a cost of $9,000. So our very first question is, should this inventory be included in the ninth and the $100,000? Should we include it? It was not included. Should we include it? Well, the way you determine that question is you look at the FOB point. The FOB point, is FOB destination. So the inventory will become our inventory when it gets to us, when it gets right here. And obviously you can see the inventory is not there yet. Since it's not to the FOB point, since it hasn't gotten to the FOB point, we do not include the $9,000. It should not be part of that $100,000. It should not be included. And we know that because of the FOB point. We have a second piece of inventory, but this time instead of a purchase, this inventory is being sold. And this inventory, again, is about right there, something like that. And it has a cost of $6,000, but they have a sales price. And that sales price is $11,000. So we have the same question here. Do we include this inventory? in the hundred thousand dollars or do we not well once again it's fob destination so it is being sent to another company a buyer and because it's fob destination it will switch to their goods when it reaches its destination because it has not reached its destination this inventory is still considered our inventory and because it's still considered our inventory this six thousand dollars should be included with the hundred thousand now notice because we are talking about the reported inventory we're not really very interested in the sales price that's not a cost number that's what you sold it for so when the question says how much should be an ending inventory well they have $100,000 as the cost, plus, since this merchandise has not gotten to the FOB point, it is still our inventory. $100,000 plus $6,000 means that we should report inventory with a cost of $106,000, and therefore, the answer is C. Did you get that? If you worked this question before we got started, did you get $106,000? Did you know how the $9,000 was to be handled? And did you know how the 6,000 was to be handled? The key, of course, though, is you have to know the FOB point and you have to know what that means. It's an important issue in reporting of inventory and financial accounting. You can do it.